Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, located in Central Maryland. So I'm here today with my final make and take for my virtual open house, celebrating the new holiday mini catalog, which actually has more than holidays in it. As we see, saw earlier this week when I did a, uh, a card using uh, the Splendid Day bundle from the mini catalog so it's more than holidays and the celebration uh, flyer so during celebration uh, through the end of August you can get a free product from the celebration flyer with a $50 order actually every $50 so if you order 50 you get one a free item order a hundred you get two free items or one a hundred dial dollar level item. Anyway, let's get started. I have a Christmas card I can't wait to share with you. So if you get sick with the camera moving away, or moving around, look away because the camera's moving now. And you're going to see my ceiling, my big light, uh, and my big head here in a moment. Maybe. There is my card. So you can see that. And it's gorgeous. And I can't wait to tell you all about it. Let me, uh, get my laptop going here so um, if anybody else joins me and wants to chat about this I'll pull my mat back a little bit all right so this card is featuring the boughs of leaves of holly stamp set the holly berry dies and the boughs of holly DSP and then I threw in a little few little extras. Uh, this is the vanilla and gold satin ribbon uh, from the mini and the sparkle here is from the glimmer paper also in the mini but we're going to do things a little different on this card so I actually shared this card or made this card on a Facebook live group where we do a share fair about every other month so if you're my customer or downline you're invited to that group and it is an exclusive group uh, there's 16 demonstrators from around the globe and we all share products like uh, projects and Facebook lives um, in a share fair and if you want into the group contact me I'd love to have you in to that group so uh, here's my card kit and this was a kit that uh, I had at my open house uh, I guess coming up on a week ago and we're going to change some things up. So I have a red card base, red, a uh, real red card stock. If you go to my stampinghair.blogspot.com, I have all the measurements. And then I'll post this video on YouTube. And it will also, if you check the link below in the description, check the description for the link to my blog and to the measurements. And please subscribe so I can bring you more fun stamping projects. So we had a cardstock base, and we had a white insert, and this is five, four by five and a quarter for the inside. A piece of DSP that, I don't know, you have to check the, the blog. And then three pieces of uh, DSP. And then I did some die cuts with the holly berry. So the stamp set is Leaves of Holly, and you get a solid, a large holly leaf, a smaller holly leaf, and then an overlay on both of them that you can stamp. Berries that also have an overlay and then some nice uh, seasonal Christmas uh, greetings. Peace, joy, and you can do peace and joy or joy and Christmas wishes, uh, seasons greetings and joy. I mean, there's just so many things that you can mix and match. And then from our house to yours and to friends near and far. So a uh, really great set, and uh, if you stick around to the end, I'll show you some other things I've done, both holiday and non-holiday, with this stamp set and the dies. So you get, the again, a large holly, a solid uh, big leaf, sm smaller leaf, the intricate die cut that lay on top, berries and an intricate die cut. You get some solid uh, holly leaves to put behind this. You get this label, that label, and some little sprigs. I mean, it's really a, a big die set, and that's holly berry dies. And the DSP is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Did I say gorgeous? I meant 
gorgeous. It has poinsettias, it has florals, big poinsettias, it has, but wait, there's more, okay. trees, small poinsettias, and a kind of an artsy multimedia uh, with holly leaves and um, berries, looks like some mistletoe in there, but then when you turn it over, you get even more. You get these kind of watercolor um, patterns, let's see if I can pull one out here. This is a polka dot pattern, uh, kind of a watercolor with greens, various greens in it. A red, just reds with kind of a watercolor palette. This barky, splattery type uh, print. And then, the one that we're using today, this print that has uh, a stripe on it. So very versatile. I mean, not only poinsettias and hollies, uh, but something, colors that you could really use uh, for any project, I think, you know, patterns and things. So let me put this aside. Ooh. So, that DSP is out of, out of control. Oh, so this was what, uh, and I used this sparkly glimmer paper that's also from the mini catalog, and it comes in Evening Evergreen, which is this really rich um, glimmer paper gold and then it has what they call vanilla but to me it looks very iridescent so that's what the kit have it has in it but I'm going to change it up so I did some extra die cutting and I'm going to swap out my white die for uh, the gold glimmer I'm going to swap out my evening evergreen glimmer for just a regular uh, evening evergreen so that will go behind I just think that I tried the glimmer and I thought it was just a tad too much too much glimmer so I decided to go with uh, cardstock and because this is glimmer I can't stamp on it so I cut from the die set this little label that I'm going to put right on front and the other thing I'm going to change up uh, well, let's stamp some. Let's stamp first, and then I'll talk about the changes, how I'm changing it up. So we're going to stamp on our label. We're going to stamp on our inside, and we are going to stamp on the envelope. So uh, the images I'm using are. Going, I'm going to do the Christmas wishes, and to friends near and far. So let's do Christmas wishes and that's going to go on this little label and I'm using Evening Evergreen. Now this is a very dark and juicy uh, ink pad and this one got somehow it got water and this is why you want to keep your paper crafts away from water. It's a little smudged. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm sure it's because it's, uh, it's this dark rich ink. So I'm just going to ink this up and try to get this straight on my little label without putting my head into the, under the camera. I think that's it. Photopolymer lets you look through. So I think that came out pretty well. And then on the inside, I'm going to stamp on my insert uh, two friends near and far. And I'm going to center that right. When I stamp it, I want to make sure I'm below that uh, fold line. So I'm going to stamp it more towards the bottom of the insert. Very cute. And now I have this little holly leaf. So I, I'm not going to stamp on on my insert but I am going to stamp on my envelope and I'm going to bring in my scrap paper because everybody knows me knows I like a pristine white uh, workspace so I'm going to ink up my holly leaf and hmm, which way up or down anybody watching 
help me out here. Uh, okay, I'm going to go kind of this way. So that is all the stamping for this project. And now I can show you how I'm going to change this up a bit. So on this card, I used the front pattern or the, I guess the pattern side, the floral patterns. It's got berries and holly leaves. But this one, I'm going to use the reverse side. And, oh, hopefully, look what I did. See, not, not smart. So, to fix that, I'm just going to turn this over. And then we'll glue these pieces down and I'll come back and restamp the front. So I am just going to dry fit these in, trying to get the right and the left to have the same margin um, on the sides. And then I'll just stick that final one in. So I think that's going to be that's something like that. And this paper does have... Um, some shading to it and I think that just adds some um, interest to it. So I'll do the left one first. I'm gonna come down a little bit. I'm going to have more uh, the border is going to be bigger at the top than on the sides. And I'll dry fit that one in the middle and then I'll do the right side. And that's where it's helpful to have glue so you can uh, make those slight adjustments when you need to. It doesn't quite go where you had wanted, and maybe you wanted a little bit more room. All right, so now our final piece. I need some glue up here at the top. All right, then this will just get placed right between those. I'll just eyeball up the spacing. Oops, maybe. That looks about right. Okay, now we can stamp our to our friends near and dear. So, uh, evening evergreen and to friends near and dear, restamp. So you always can recover if it doesn't go quite the way you want the first time. And this ink, oh, let's see if I can. Uh, Uh, stamp that. So this ink, as, as I was saying, Evening Evergreen matches the, the DSP. And now we can start assembling. So this piece will go inside. And nobody will ever be the wiser that I stamped that greeting too far up. I just turned it over and Use the other side. Okay. And for the front, this is where some of the changes are going to come in. Let me use my bone folder and uh, press that score line down. So I'm going to use my poinsettia side for this. And adhere that to the front. Although this um, polka dot pattern is very cute. But they, all the patterns in this um, DSP are cute. Just very, uh, I guess it has a lot, a very holiday and festive uh, feel to it. And then we're going to uh, take our label and put our die cut behind the the leaves. I think it's just going to just offset that gold really well. And for this, I'm just going to put a few dot, dot, dots of glue on my die cut on the edges to adhere it to the glimmer paper. I don't want too much glue because I don't want it to uh, leak out from underneath. And it dries clear. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, get it to fit very well and like 
that. Just line those dies up and we have to move this out a little bit here. There we go. And oh. okay. There. Got a little glue on my fingers and uh cardstock wants to adhere to it, but you can see there's a little narrow border around die cut for the gold on the back. So I'm going to bring in this beautiful ribbon. I've been talking about this. I love this ribbon. This uh, it's golden vanilla and it's three eighths satin edged ribbon. And to adhere it, I'm going to use my tear and tape. So I'm going to put my uh, liquid glue out of the out uh, to the side for a minute and snip off my ribbon. that off and I'll just put this just uh, down across with my tear and tape and you can re this is you know tear and tape is a very strong adhesive um, but in this case it is forgiving I mean once you get the tape down it's not going to move but you can um, pull the ribbon up and reset the ribbon so I'll use my pick a tool to remove the covering and then I'm just going to center my ribbon like that and this is well, this now we'll bring in our label the gold label piece and lay that on top like that and again using uh, my liquid glue I'll secure this now I'll put some on the center part of this label then just little dabs on that narrow border just to tack it down and I'm not using a lot of glue just a little dab here and there um, on the edges to uh, make it lay down flat okay and I might want this over a smidge Oh, I think I um, was a little too rambunctious with the glue because I did put some up on the top there. So I'm going to wipe that away and then I'll just um, put my finger on it so it's not tacky because I don't want to adhere that. So that is something when you make this card, uh, do not do like I do. Make sure you are judicious on where you put your glue. So you don't uh, seal your card closed inadvertently. All right. And then my Christmas wishes. And I'm going to use some uh, dimensionals on this. If I can find any handy. Oh, do, 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 do. Where are my dimensionals? Um, hmm. Oh, found some. Just the very end of my... I use every little bit, even the borders, so I can uh, cut them to the perfect size. So nothing will go to waste when it comes to dimensionals. And I love dimensionals. I, don't, I rarely make cards that don't have dimensionals on them. I think I made one earlier this week, but it's rare. And then I'm just going to maybe center that a little bit lower so all the gold glimmer shows through. So Christmas wishes. Now I wanted to add one more little bit. So in the mini catalog, there are these festive pearls and they come in red and maybe a mint macaron, silver and gold. And I thought some of those gold ones would look very pretty on this. So I'm going to pick a couple of these up and maybe just put them in the center of these uh, poinsettia leaves. And then the last one, maybe right over here, right there. Oh, that one's a little off center. 
I think I need some more of these. I just love these. Maybe one down here. And then one more. Where to put it? Maybe over here? Up here? Over here? Ooh, I wish somebody was here to help me figure this out. Okay, I'm going to put it up over here. So that is my uh, Leaves of Holly, Boughs of Holly card. And so it's the same card made with the same DSP. I just reversed uh, the papers and used the glimmer paper and uh, the cardstock. So, yeah, it's hard to say which one I like the best. So I wanted to give you a little tour of the, a quick tour of Celebrate of the mini catalog and show you where I use these products from. So this is the mini catalog, all we, all, also known as the holiday catalog, even though it has more than a holiday in it. So Bows of Holly is on page 24, and you can see everything that comes uh, in this bundle. Uh, it's also a suite, so everything here you can get in one collection. Order one number, and you'll get the stamp set, the dies, this uh, beautiful uh, ribbon, woven ribbon, which I haven't used yet, these wooden elements, and the DSP. If you order the bundle of the stamps and the dies that I used in this card, it will qualify you to get something free from the uh, celebration flyer, which I'll show you in a minute. So the other things I used were out of the Lights Aglow Suite, which is on page 30 and 31. I use this beautiful ribbon, which I just love. I can't get enough of this gold and vanilla ribbon. And the Festive Pearls. And it says it's Cherry Cobbler, Soft Succulent, Silver and Gold. Um, but Yeah, they're beautiful. And the Glimmer Paper, which I used on my sample, which has it Evening Evergreen, uh, Vanilla, and Gold Glimmer Paper. So that's on page 31. Lots of great stuff in this mini catalog. And as I said, if you order the Boughs of Holly bundle, then it will qualify you to get a $50 level from the Celebration Flyer. And I've kind of shown you throughout the week uh, the things that would qualify. These hippos, you can get the hippo, hippos uh, stamp set with a $50 order, or you could order the dies, or with a $100 order, you could order, uh, you would get free, you could choose to get free the hippos and the dies, coordinating dies. DSP, the Rings of Love, that's a free $50 order, with a $50 order. The Pool Party Seafoam and Card Envelopes, they've sold out. Uh, the celebration items are while supplies last, and popular items go quickly. We use this stylus sketches stamp set and that's a fifty dollar uh, free with a fifty dollar purchase earlier this week and then uh, I think the first day I used this silver and gold paper and then with a hundred dollar order you would qualify for this stamp set which has 17 stamps so that is a lot of stamps or the dies that matches with the Trees for Sale stamp set. So the Trees for Sale stamp set in the mini has trees and I think some light, um, strings of light. And here the dies, you can do uh, die cut trees with, uh, they have these edgings that go on top of them, overlays, a camper, a little dog. So cute, that little dog. Mini tiny reef and bow. I mean, it's just too cute for words. And yesterday's project, which was The Wonderful World, which is a stamp set with a coordinating DSP pack. And that's also a $100 level. And of course, if you host a party during celebration and it's a $300, your sales comes to $300, you will get this free perfect pomegranate stamp set. And that's exclusive because you only can get it by holding a $300 show. And then, if you join during celebration, uh, Stampin' Up! will throw in this Making Plans collection. So, to join, it's $99. You pick $125 worth of products, your choice, what they are. 
uh, no shipping and then Stampin' Up! will give you in addition to that uh, this planner set so you get a planner you get notebooks you get the stamp set you get all these little stickers um, so if you're interested in that hit me up I would uh, love to chat with you about that so then I had promised to show you some other um, cards I made with the same template so here uh, is this same template just in mossy meadow cardstock with old olive behind the um, die cut and then I have another Christmas one, and <clears throat> this one's basically the same as this, except I didn't use the glimmer paper. I used Mossy Meadow behind the die cut. And now, with this is the more masculine card. I used the same die, um, DSP with some soft suede and I did the little um, sprigs I die cut those out in soft suede and did some Sahara sand um, die cutting used the same label as this one and did a embossing with the brick and mortar 3D embossing so that's more of a, a masculine card, but using the same set. So it really can be used, I feel, uh, year round. Um, oh, I think that was all I wanted to go through today. Uh, oh, I was going to show you all the other make and takes. Well, just a moment, let me grab them. Let me see if I can get them. Oh, not those, that's not, the, that's not them. So these, that's one of them. I was going to show you all the other make and takes from this week. Oh, here they are. Got them. All right, so let's put these away. So this was the make and take we did today. And actually there's two versions of it because the one we did in my in-person event was this one. And then Monday I showed you how to make this card with the Memories and More card bases, and that has the silver and gold DSP from Celebration. And then on Tuesday, we did the Splendid Day, um, showed that, so the, just showing that the holiday catalog, the mini, has more than just holidays in it. Oh no, that was Wednesday on Tuesday. Tuesday we did this one, this Rustic Harvest DSP with some of that gold glimmer paper and the Stylish Sketches, which is a celebration item. And then yesterday we did, now that was Wednesday, yesterday we did the um, Wonderful World uh, from the Celebration. So that's the stamp set the wonderful world st stamp set and the DSP that coordinates with it and this was the card from yesterday so if you go to my blog you'll see you can see all these um, the measurements and there's links to the YouTube videos and if you want to place an order I would love to have you place an order you can check out my website there's links in my blog to it um, and as always if you're have any questions hit me up I love to talk about stamping up and until next time remember stamping is fun bye